today is your lucky day today we are going to talk about short notes basically there are three different types of notes mic notes short notes and exam focus notes most people know it by the name of micro notes or short notes but we are going to talk about why it is very very necessary how to make it and how to use it right so we are going to start from the absolute beginning why is it exactly required now these kind of notes are not going to be very very helpful for your semester examination these are specially for competitive examination now what is the difference between any other examination and competitive examinations basically it comes down to the syllabus the syllabus for competitive examinations are huge for example four years of your btech all asked in your gate examination or let us say any other examination now these tips will be useful for any examination on the face of this country okay any kind of examinations like that even iit je or medical whatever you need you need short notes when you are appearing for a national level examination or a state level examination where the question paper is coming from outside okay now semester examination you study one night before the examination you go and execute you mug up you go and execute over there because mainly the syllabus is very small over there but here the syllabus is so huge good thing is that the syllabus is conceptual that if you understand things well then you are going to perform well over there but no matter how conceptual the syllabus becomes there is always going to be something that is mug up that you have to remember for example anything you have to design a shaft then you you know how to derive the formula but it is always better if you know the formula itself so that a question comes you can solve it in 1 to 3 minutes right so in that it increases your efficiency so you have to memorize few things and that's when the short notes and the mic notes comes into the picture that you almost go through it on a daily basis now this is a very like a thumb rule of competitive examination this is how you memorize the mug of stuff when it comes to any competitive examination you just go through it every day and over time you'd keep on doing that you do not have to just like mug it up try to force or churn it down in your head like you do one day before the your semester examination you just go through it every day over time it will get into your memory and what once that gets deep into your memory you will be able to apply it when that kind of question comes so we are going to start from micro notes what is micro notes now micro notes let us first talk about how it is going to look like if you are for example preparing for gate examination then you are having 12 subjects that you have to cover to complete the syllabus then your micro notes should be consisting of at max like 15 pages 15 pages meaning uh one page two page like that 15 pages right because one subject let us say thermodynamics the formulas that you have to write over there so please understand what you have to put because i've talked with enough number of students to understand that a lot of people think of these mic notes as like some place where they can just dump everything that they can study they feel good that it is all written over there so we are going to revise it but by the time that they have to appear for examination these mic notes are like 100 200 pages long and one week before the examination they will be panicking so it is not done like that you do not write everything in your mic notes what you write are only the formulas now you might be thinking that there are like few things that you might be needing to memorize for example some tabulated kind of things let us say moment of inertia of different kind of profiles so you want to remember that or deflection and slope of different kind of beams talking in terms of mechanical engineering but you understand that there are a lot i've even talked to a lot of electronics people also everyone has something like that only right so they will want to write everything down and when they do they are finding out that only one subject is consisting of 30 pages of micro notes that is not what we call micro notes that is basically you are afraid of forgetting about that so you are trying to put everything down so that you feel better about yourself but it is not exactly going to help you in long term so in a micro notes you only and only write down formulas so all the formulas ever asked in gate examination or engineering services examination or isro examination they all can be concised in just two pages i know that by experience and i also know that because i'm having my micro notes in front of me okay so few few subjects are there for example production and all it is going to take longer let us say 3 4 pages and that is why i'm saying that all the subjects 
will be concise somewhere on like 15 to 20 pages maximum. Now, another requirement why you want it to be short is because you are going to be revising it on a daily basis. Like I said, you want to memorize it properly, then almost on a daily basis, you go through it, right? So it will be taking somewhere on like one hour every day. Every morning you can do it or you can divide it into two. Like half you're going to do in morning, just after you wake up, half you're going to do at night, just before you go to sleep. You keep on revising it on a daily basis. It will get engraved in your memory. And that kind of memory you are going to be needing in a competitive examination like this so what are in micro notes only the formulas that are asked in competitive examination i'm going to pick up any page of over here i'm opening heat transfer so there's a formula which you can say isobaric volume expansion coefficient beta is equal to one by v del v by del t at constant pressure all right so that is the coefficient that might be used in some examination or the other that i might forget okay if you if you study things properly you are going to understand the whole explanation behind that also but it is always better that you keep those things on your fingertip. For example, over here, effectiveness of a counter flow heat exchanger is 1 minus e to the power minus 1 minus c NTU divided by 1 minus c e to the power minus you get the point, right? So these are the formula. This formula actually no one is exactly going to tell you how they derived it. But a lot of question comes from these formulas. So you're going to need to remember it. So you put it in your micro notes, you go through it every day. And that is how you memorize it over time. Obviously, there's another way of memorizing. You have put it over here, going through it every day. And then when you solve questions like this again and again, it gets engraved deep in your memory. Another thing I want you guys to notice is that I've made it very, very concise. I've literally used the minimum space required to write these formulas, right? So it has two benefits, but the main reason why I do it is the same. The number of pages required is very, very less. Now, other than saving a lot of trees, it is also going to help us to keep it short and concise. Basically, number one is that it will be very, very portable. You can carry it around anywhere. You can revise it while walking. You can revise it while sitting in Metro. It is very, very helpful, especially because revising is very boring. So you can even do it while moving around. So that is one. The second thing is that it gives you a psychological advantage. So if you see that you have to revise 20 pages versus if you see that you have to revise only 10 pages, then definitely your brain will be very happy to revise 10 pages, even though those 10 pages are having higher density. So that psychological advantage is not to be neglected. So definitely write it as short as as concise as possible. Definitely less number of formulas, only important stuff. That is one in making it short. The second thing is the way you write it over here. So you can also see over here, I've used different colors to keep it concise. So even if you write it in a very congested manner, if you use different colors, then it will be helpful for you to read and it will be very, very neat because your brain very well differentiates between different colors. So other thing about color coding is that over here, you can see that I've written the formula of counter flow with red color and parallel flow with green color because basically if you know counter flow formula you can remember the parallel flow formula so this becomes more important so that is the color coding that i have developed right you can develop your own but it does help you to revise it in a better manner it is more structured like this next comes short notes now it is very important for you to separate short notes from your micro notes because micro notes the whole purpose is you have to revise it on a daily basis right you cannot do it for short notes because short notes are going to be a little bit lengthier. Now, you have to understand that short notes is not for every subject. These are for theory subjects. Every branch of uh, engineering or every branch of science will be having that one subject which is theory based. For mechanical engineering, it would be material science or production, it will be casting and things like that, industrial engineering. These will be having some theories that might be asked in some questions. There might be theory based multiple choice questions also. And nowadays there are MSQs also, right? So these questions can be answered and you'll be getting one marks to three marks for or two marks in these questions, right? So there are a lot of questions which are theory based also. So theory also comes to become important and few subjects are completely theory based. So you cannot every now and then go to your class notes or go to your books to revise those. For example, I'm going to open up my casting short notes. All right. And you are going to see over there that I have written few things like die casting. And then we are having gravity die casting, pressure die casting and basic things like it is used for mass production, fine grain structure. And when it comes to pressure die casting, you are going to find out in cold chamber, uh, the metals that are used are aluminium, copper and brass. 
for this we are going to use this so these are not formulas these are going to be lengthy and if you ask me my casting and welding these all concise of somewhere around like seven to eight pages so these are going to be long so let us say these short notes are comprising somewhere around like 50 to 60 pages if you consider the full syllabus of your branch now obviously you cannot revise it on a daily basis why are short notes there for short notes is just there as a short form of your class notes now class notes is whatever you have made while going through the lectures while completing your syllabus short notes will be just quicker for you to revise now this will be only required for you when you are trying to give test series on when you are revising that subject for the third or the fourth time then it will be very very important and before the examination also let us say your gate examination is in february and you are revising in january then these short notes will be giving you revision very quickly right so that is why short notes are there for now the next one is exam focus notes now this exam focus notes is going to be even thinner why because these are only going to be using the formulas that are asked in that examination think of it as micro notes for a particular examination for example, especially for gate examination actually if you look at only gate previous year questions a lot of formulas are not asked very complicated formulas are even given in the question like use this formula and get the answer right so formula is not that important but let us say i'm preparing for gate examination and engineering services examination also this exam focused notes is especially going to come into the picture when you are preparing for multiple examination most people do for example if i'm going to prepare for gate examination i'm going to sit for engineering services i'm going to sit for other psu examinations i'm going to be there for isro examination or barc examination even science student when they are going to sit for gate examination they are going to also sit for net examination now if i prepared for uh, engineering services previous year questions also now literally if you look at the number of formulas that are required for engineering services it will be three to four times the number of formulas that will be required for you to memorize when it comes to gate examination so one day before the gate examination if you're looking at engineering services questions you will be de uh, disheartened right i do not want that to happen just before the examination focus towards that for example before the isro examination i'll be looking at isro focused and this is this is the thick one because actually engineering services and um isro examination goes hand in hand to a huge extent so before the isro examination i'll be looking at that before the gate examination i'll be looking at that this is the exam focus notes for gate examination this is the exam focus notes for isro examination you understand right so it is very important for you to maintain an exam focus notes also how to do that it is very very simple while you're solving the previous year questions of that examination you note down the formulas required in that examination separately that way just before that examination you know what to revise right and micro notes how is it different micro notes will be having all the formulas the formulas that are let us say asked in isro examination asked in gate examination having asked in engineering services examination or few of the formulas that your teachers might have given you just in like expecting that these formulas might also be asked so micro notes when do you make that micro notes you make when you're making your when you're completing your subjects for example today i went to class i made my class notes while sitting in the class that is why it is called class notes when i come back from class i'll be revising my class notes and while revising the class notes i'll be saying okay this formula pick it up from class notes and put it in the micro notes so basically micro notes is having everything so everything you are revising throughout the year on a daily basis just before the examination you focus towards that you understand if you do it like that things will be very structured it will be very helpful for you to go in the correct direction and you will not be panicking before the examination so micro notes is going to be somewhere on like 15 to 20 pages short notes will be somewhere on let us say 60 to 70 pages short notes you'll be only revising when you're going to the revision uh, cycle let us say before giving the test series of that subject you'll be using that and exam focused notes if you prepare it will be very helpful for you before the examination so that's about it guys i think i was able to clear everything if you are going to ask in the comment section that please share your short notes or micro notes i'm already going to say or uh, give you the same answer that i gave you around one year ago that i'm not going to share my micro notes the sole reason is that my micro notes is not going to be helpful for you if you need sample i'm going to be uploading some sample pages you can go through it like how i make my micro notes that will be linked down in the description box but this is what a lot of students do a lot of coaching institutes also make handbook kind of thing that will be having all the formulas that is never helpful for students because 
you understand what kind of formulas you are forgetting and while making it yourself it will be best otherwise you can get someone else's short notes also if i'm not uploading someone or the other will be doing but that will not be helpful for you so i'll be uploading a sample so that you understand what i'm talking about i've already shown you a lot of samples on the screen also but you want better quality it is available down in the description box go through it and understand and make your own micro notes short notes and exam focus notes if you do not listen to me completely listen to me partially at least make micro notes a lot of people give the examination and they never understood about how to make short notes or how to use it so i've explained why to do it in the beginning of the video also how i've explained and how to revise that also i think you have understood if you have any more questions down in the comment section most welcome i'll see all of you in the next one my second youtube channel ashish ranjan is on personality development or if you want to increase or improve your spoken english fluency then you can go over there a lot of tips and tricks over there you can learn from there as well that's about it see you next time till then bye oh my, my.